Hello there, this is Darth Melvin, leader of the Knights of Melvin. The official Star Wars Twitter account has found themselves in a little bit of a situation. Recently, they tried to push the woke term Latinx in one of their posts, and they got roasted for it. If you didn't know, Latinx is a woke term created by the nutjobs to be more gender inclusive. Well, if you know anything about language, the Romance languages, they deal with words that are masculine and feminine. Something like Latinx that is neutral doesn't exist, it's a made up word. Latinx is something a woke lunatic made up, and now companies like Disney are picking it up and trying to push it as propaganda, and they got called out. Little more context to why people don't like it, we can read about it on Twitter. Latinx didn't stick because, one, it's not a fucking word. Two, it's a bastardization of the Spanish language by the majority of a generation of people who don't understand how a Latin-based language works. Three, the majority of Latinos don't like it and consider it a slur. Now, I am a white toxic male, so I'm not offended by the term Latinx, but I do recognize if you give these nutjobs an inch, they will take a mile. And even something like this, we need to call it out, and we need to stop it. This channel goes beyond Star Wars. We are in a war with not only circus film, we are in a war with the giant pussies who are trying to take over the world. Good. We don't like being referred to as Latinx. Thank you for acknowledging that we don't accept it and that it's disrespectful to try and change our language. So the official Star Wars Twitter account did go out of their way to change it from Latinx to Latin representation. And then they didn't apologize, but they did provide an update. We listened to our community and made necessary edits in support of our Latin fans. And you can even see they did change the website. There is no more Latinx, it is just Latin. I guess this means case closed. Am I right? No. I wanted to look into this more. We listened to our community and made necessary edits in support of our Latin fans. Necessary edits. What do you mean by that? Just changing this article? Because I did a quick Google search and I came across the official Star Wars Facebook page. In celebration of Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month, one of our StarWars.com writers looks back at the impact Star Wars had on his life and the saga's relationship with his culture. I bring this up because the official Star Wars Twitter account said they listened to our community. Well, they didn't listen to their community a year ago. There's no such thing as the word Latinx. 121 likes. Can somebody please tell me what Latinx is? My grandparents were wondering. His grandparents are probably wondering what the fuck kind of world are we living in now? Better focus on making decent Star Wars movies instead of trying to push made up words to be inclusive. Here is the article from 2021. They removed Latinx from the 2022 article. Okay, we forgive Disney for that, but the 2021 article, which is very offensive, is still up. Latinx all over it. And it gets worse. Because Latinx is not only on past stuff from circus film, it is on Disney shit. It is on their official Disney Twitter account. October 7th, 2021. Happy Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month. Never forget the value of family time and remember where you came from. Hashtag Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month. Celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with these books written by Hispanic Latinx authors, courtesy of At Disney Books. Disney again. Find out how At Disney Channel and A Place Called Home inspire young Latinx women to discover your voice. So it's all over fucking Disney, and it's all over the blue checkmark Disney accounts. This Hispanic slash Latinx Heritage Month, Latinx employees of Walt Disney Animation Studios are sharing their stories here. Walt Disney World, during Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month, enjoy special offerings in all four theme parks, Disney Springs and beyond. Disney Parks. Celebrate Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month with Disney cast members as they reflect on how their culture inspires their work. 
Hashtag Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month. I'm trying to figure out something here with the term Latinx. I guess there's a statute of limitations on racism and offensive terms. Because everything from 2022 is gone, but everything from 2021 remains. I'm just wondering, going back to what the official Star Wars Twitter account said, we listened to our community and made necessary edits in support of our Latin fans. Was deleting stuff from 2021 not necessary? I think this is something we need to bring to their attention. Was deleting the 2021 Latinx post not necessary? And back to the author of this blog, Carlos Miranda. He really likes to use the term Latinx. You can see so in his Twitter account. Can't handle the amount of Latinx firepower in this picture. Then here's the original article, Latinx Representation. Then here, Latinx in space. This guy is out of control. This was in 2022. I guess according to Disney standards, he is not in line with their policy. Hey, we'll just remove everything from 2022 and it will be all right. I'm afraid that is wrong. People are going to be very upset about this. Carlos Miranda is gonna have to answer. I think Carlos Miranda needs to be called out. It's not Latinx. Disney Star Wars is trash. You know, this topic is very interesting because there wasn't many people that raised concern over this post by the official Star Wars Twitter account. And it just lets you know that Disney sees you. They see me. They see the knights. They see the real fans of Star Wars. And that is why, from the beginning of this channel, I was saying we need to make our voices heard. I'm going to continue my movement to hashtag Avenge Star Wars. Disney is going to pay for fucking up Star Wars. And if we can't save Star Wars, you be damn well sure we'll avenge it. Become a knight, subscribe to the channel, join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills.